but uh, yeah this is much more interesting of course uh, uh, instead of all the blah 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 uh, here it's uh, clearly on the chart Trololo updated it so that's really cool it's not my Photoshop uh, uh, trials here but the real deal and uh, I think this is very interesting to see uh, where we are huh? so now uh, this has gone up in two moves uh, this whole year 2017 uh, it's been tremendous eh? from here to here eh? yeah. uh, and in 2013 it was also tremendous from here up up it is one year also basically two moves eh? I think this is very interesting to see how these things move here because this move was different than this move you see it's not this is stronger than this first move uh, and, 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 and and this move is actually not so strong as this move this is a logarithmic chart so every time it's times 10 but you can see in the beginning it goes much stronger up uh, than later on which is logical because market caps go from here we're talking from 1 million to 10 million from 10 million to 100 million uh, all coins together in the beginning it's just bitcoin for the most part but from the, uh, basically it moved from uh, times 10 is of course much easier in low market cap than in higher market caps and this bubble started basically where, where the other one picked out huh? um, so um, going from 100 million to 10 billion is an easier move than going from 10 billion to 1 trillion huh? um, but um, and, and so you can't expect I think the same kind of performances from the past and you can see this here too uh, you have the same kind of move is actually not so strong as this one and so you can see here it's a two leg up so it's very comparable to 2013 but the, the question of course is here is this move finished or not huh? and to me it looks like this could well be finished because the, the move is not so strong the first time also not so this could also need be not that strong or I should say equally strong as this one and well then we are almost there huh? um, this is also very interesting um, so we're right now at uh, 550 percent uh, overvaluation and indeed it can go to let's say 800 eh, because it went to 1300 in 2011 10 2011 1320 13 here went to thousand eh? so this is uh, above the purple line the purple line is the average price of the past and it's also a bit it's a bit well um, it has a theory behind it that the growth will go down over time that's why it uses this kind of curve but it's basically also an average price of all past prices um, and so right now we're at 90 billion or so um, 87 88 88 billion and so the current market cap is about 550 billion and so that's about 550 percent above uh, the, the the average price the average expected price or the, or the expected price is how Trololo calls it this is the expected price and this is very helpful because during the bear market here it really helped me to see that actually the expected price is considerably higher than current valuation so it's a good buy huh? mm, but um, now it's different eh? the expected price is still below current valuation so it's a good sell uh, but you want to try to time it well uh, but I think um, it's already very well we're already in high risk territory here eh? there is well uh, it can go higher and it's probable to go higher to about i would say hey you have volatility goes down so overvaluation also compared to average price so from 1300 they dropped to thousand in two years so the next bubble it may go not to thousand maybe to 800 or maybe 700 but i think we might have seen that already the 700 no I, i'm not sure we saw 700 i don't think so so i think um the way it is now um yeah we'll have to see how it goes eh? but um there are two possible scenarios here i think either it, it it continues its way up here and this is just a small 
kink in the cable uh, as they say as you have here a small kink in the cable but it continues to go up huh? sometimes you have that a little kink and it continues to go up so this could be a little kink it continues to go up we go to 800 billion market cap that would be great mm, uh, but um, mm, it could also be that it's not a kink in the cable but it's the end um, so so um, and then we will see yeah, um, something like this happening up up but then we, it won't go into new highs, it will be up, up. It won't reach the current high anymore. So let's say we're at uh, 650 billion um, now. Oh no, we're at, at 550, and the peak was 650. Um, uh, we're now at 550, um, but uh, it can go down. Actually, it went pretty strongly down. And there was a flash crash not so long ago, a week ago, from 650 to 400. Uh, and now it's back up to 550 so this might be the rebound like you saw here and here and here a rebound uh, but after that it continues to go down I think this is certainly possible that's why I'm selling already um, but I, I try to keep certain altcoins I still believe in uh, and hope to see them uh, go up because even in these rebound areas uh, this takes pretty long we're talking about a month two months uh, a month two months here to a month two months uh, where the prices stay relatively high of all coins together but there is a lot of movement within the coins usually it's bitcoin going down and some alts peaking out a month later or so and so if you sit in certain alts you can still make a lot of money uh, but uh it's very wise to uh sell them then for fiat uh, and and go sit on the sidelines so I think this is uh, two scenarios either it continues to go up would be very good and uh, it will be a great chance to sell uh, also Bitcoin and alts or it continues to go down and sideways and then well there is not much opportunity to sell Bitcoin anymore I think uh, for uh, current valuations but maybe some alts that you hold uh, in these areas may go up still and, and and so may still be good sales so yeah um, we'll have to see how it goes huh? everybody is excited for 2018 but actually you should not be excited at all for 2018 as you can see I have a year of fantastic growth well see what happens next here huh? goes down huh? here a year of immense growth what happens the next year nothing so 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 um yeah that's the situation um, so i think um, it's very interesting i hope you guys enjoyed the video i uh wish you all a great end of the year um i would say um if your family members approach you well um, i would just warn them uh, tell them it's not a good time you can do some test buys and start following some coins but it's not a good time to start investing in crypto now bye bye